Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial on natural language processing, we'll be learning how to do natural language processing with Spacey. So, what is Spacey? So, Spacey is a very useful and an advanced natural language library, processing library, which is very useful. It was created by Explosion AI, and then this is the lead developer. So, it's quite easy to learn, and it's one of the most advanced, fastest, right? One of the fastest, just like NLTK, as well as test block so let's see how to deal with space so to install it just go straight away with the pip install spacey then you download some some models right so we have english we have french we have german so if you want to most of it these are the major ones the major languages not but not every language but the major languages so english french german and then some other the languages so you want to install it on windows you just go with conda install tq dm it's very important because sometimes when you are installing on Windows, you may be having a lot of issues. So you can just use Conda to install it and then you first of all install this TQDM first. Then you install your Conda, you install your Spacey either with this one or with this one, right? Then you download the library, the model English, but you must download it with the administrator. So let's start. So first of all, let's see how to do that so by the end of this tutorial this series you'll be learning how to use spacey for several of these functions such as tokenization part of speech dependency passing memorizing name entity recognition which is very interesting similarity sentence dependency boundary these are very useful features that comes with spacey right as well as other packages but this one space is always quite interesting okay so so let's see how to do that so first of all, let's load our package. After installing, just go with import spacey. Right, then you're going to go with NLP. It's going to be spacey dot load en. So this en is the language that we downloaded, right? The, the not the language, but the model, right? So the en is for the English, right? If if you are going to be working with French, just go with fr, right? Perfect. So. When you run this function, there are a lot of things that is going behind the scene. So what is going behind the scene is that it's trying to create an NLP object. So this is what is going behind the scene. This I found from Twitter. So what happens when you call spacey load? So when you do that, this is what is going to happen straight away. The picture is self-explanatory. Then it's going to move through it and then build a load it in binary data, right? And then build an NLP object, which is quite interesting. So it is with this object that you'll be working with all that you're going to be doing. Okay, perfect. So now let's see how to read a file. So how do you read a test document or a file to you? You have already imported it with this function. So increase the size. So it's going to go with, let's call it as docs, right? We're going to read our first file, so it's going to be NLP. And then you're going to supply whatever test. So spacey is a cool to right so this is going to read it perfectly for us so if i go with docs this is going to read whatever is typed there which is quite interesting so this thing can be read in a different way using the unicode format like this you bring you here right so let's call it spaces a uh, is an amazing tool and then like nltk nltk it's quite nice so this is Let's call it two and it's going to work perfectly, right? So we can even read this file and it's going to work for us. Perfect, it's working. So now let's see how to read a, an actual file. If you have a file you want to read it, how do you do that? So it's quite simple. You can just create my file, then open with the normal Python way of opening a file. Then I'm going to supply a file. So example file. Right, that's the file we're going to create it. Then dot read. So then we're going to be passing this one inside into our space so i'm going to call it doc file nlp then here i'm going to supply my file so perfect it's going to read it perfectly for us so everything is working so if i read doc file i call this it's going to print it perfectly for us so the best error message is the one that never shows up which is a very nice quiz anyway okay so this is how to read it from a file right there's another simple way of reading from a file which can be this way instead of you doing this like this plenty like this you can do it in this simple way, right? NLP, let's call it doc file 2 and then we're going to do it like NLP, right? We're going to pass in our open this file. We're going to pass in this thing here. <laughs> it's 
still, still going to work anyway. I'm going to pass this one here. Perfect. So you can also read it in this format. It's going to work for us. So that is working. And read it. So doc file two. And it's working perfectly. Nice. Okay. That is how to read the files. And now let's see how to do tokenization. So what is tokenization? So tokenization means you are splitting a test into tokens. So anytime I speak or anytime human beings speak, we first of all detect the language that they are speaking. So if I say Catholic Charles or I say uh, Catella or Bonjour, you just first detect the language, then you split the language into tokens before you start to understand what does this word mean. That is how human beings understand language. Okay, so we're trying to tokenize the words that we are hearing, tokenize the test. So we we do we're doing sentence tokenization and then word tokenization. So how do you do sentence tokenization? This was our file that we had, doc file. So this is the test that we had here. Right, you want to tokenize them, tokenize them into sentences. So it's going to use the punctuations to tokenize them into sentences perfectly. Let's see how it's going to be doing. It's going to be for sentence in our doc file, right? This is our doc file that we had here, this file. Then we bring this sense. So perfect. Then we're going to go with print our sentence. It's going to print our sentence for us perfectly, right? It's printing it individually based on the sentence. So this one can we can do it in a more Pythonic way by enumerating it. If you want to enumerate it, so let's call it as our number, and then we're going to enumerate it. So enumerate so that you see all the the list of the the numbers of the sentence there, right? So this is a more Pythonic way. If this works in Python 3.5 and upwards, <laughs> so get Python 3.5 <laughs> or Python 3.6. So now, then this right is going to work perfectly. Perfect. That is a task enumerated perfectly. So this sentence one, sentence two is dividing them or splitting them into sentence based on the punctuations. It's very very interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, now let's see how to do word tokenization with spacing. So to do that, word tokenization is just placing them into words, right? So our first file was this doc file. Space it and I'm using tools. So I want to split them into word tokenization. So you can just do it for word. For token in doc dot test right for token in docs then just going to go with print token dot test it's going to print it individual so these are these individual tokens so you can make it in a list form so this is how I do my list I start from the back <laughs> token dot test you can learn it anyway then I'll bring the start from the back and I'll move here <laughs> So let me copy this one. That's how to do. My, I do my own. It's going to work. It always works. Oops. Perfect. So that's pretty perfect for us. So this is a word token. Perfect. So this is similar to this splitting that we did with the tokenization. It's similar to doing something like this in Python. So doc dot test dot split. Then this right. So splitting it based on the space. But you realize that the spacing model is very, very intelligent in this aspect. That it's going to be able to separate it well perfectly for us. And let's do some little things about the words that we have done. You can also do more about like words, like you can do the shape for the word, as well as whether the word is an alpha or an stop. So let's try an example like that with a uh, amazing, right? Space is an amazing too. So if I want to check for the word shape of this, I'm just going to go with for word in doc right then i'm going to go it like this so let's call it print word dot test as for the test then word dot shape so there's one thing about this that like when i do it like this it's going to print it for us giving us the shape right but this number is in numbers that we don't understand so there's one nice thing about this that it's if you bring this tip this bar here I don't know how they call it, but this bar is going to not only read it, it's not going to read it in a number, it's going to give you the actual string representation of that way, right? So that if I do it like that, so that it's giving us a string representation, which is capital 
that is the purpose of the shape. It's going to give us the shape of the word. Because sometimes some of the words may be the same, like hello, hello, hello. And then it's, you, may, you want to normalize them. Most, mostly we normalize them, but you can use spacey to help, help you to know the shape of the word. So spacey starts with capital, capital S, then it's having C here, right? Perfect. S, S, S. Perfect. So let's try a simple example with this same shape start on something different so that you understand it well. So let's let me create another file so let's call it example doc then i'm going to call it as nlp i'm going to pass in some way so hello right and we have hello then we have hello then we have hello right these are different ways so if i want to find the shape of these ways all of them are hello it means the same but i want to analyze it well so it's going to be so for word in es doc print and i'm going to call that the word i want to print the word so this is going to be the word i want to print so the word itself or the token itself right let's call it the token itself and then the, the, the token itself is going to be token itself is going to be the word the test and I'm going to add the shape to so shape. So this is going to be our word dot shape underscore, right? Or the added underscore. I think yeah, I think it's underscore. Okay, perfect. So that it is originally perfect. So hello shape, the shape here. The word hello caps capital capital small small or capital. So there's another thing you can also do. You can also add a, whether it's an alphabet or not with word word dot is alpha alpha. I'm going to give us true or false, right? So true. This is an alphabet. And that is alpha numeric. True, 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 true. And then you can also do it for if it is. You can also do it for if it is a a, a stop word. So word dot is stop so force 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 for these are not stop ways okay so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions or contribution you can just let me know you can put this in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe